Hello guys and welcome back to Koryhima's Redstone World. Today we'll be taking on the creation of the tree farm, an automated version of it. This is what we're gonna attempt to build today. Uh, so let's just head over to the place here I picked out. You will be needing some sticky pistons. Uh, normal pistons, a few resin torches, a lot of uh, redstone dust and resin repeaters plus glowstone, nether brick uh, or nether brick which I picked, uh, you can use something else but as long as it's not destroyed by a pickaxe or a normal axe it's fine like any stone material block let's see uh, should be 13 high let's see one two three well, let's see there one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen this is a uh, 12 by 13 area with sticky pistons uh, we placing pistons so much fun whoopsie double click is a nice thing Like that, uh, you'll, I choose uh, nether brick for this purpose since you can't be uh, broken with the axe. When you chop the wood, you can use stone, um, cobblestone, anything really that an axe can't destroy, with the exception of obsidian, obviously, because pistons can't push obsidian. Well, I mean, awesome to try uh, <laughs> to actually do it with furnaces, but unfortunately, unfortunately, furnaces can't be pushed by pistons either, which is kind of a shame. Let's see. Uh, that's the first front area. Here is where all the logs comes out later. Uh, let's see. We need to make a bud switch. We'll place that there. But I did discover something while uh, making the other version over there. That's, that's all. Let's see here. Uh, like this, I'll just show you guys. All the blocks under in a square area like this, under the piston, and on top of the piston, and the blocks on the side. And the front like this cannot be dirt blocks since those can grow grass on them and it will update the bird switch and it will flip on and off all the time when it's not meant to do. So we'll just do this off of wall for now. Let's see, um, make a block here for the bell switch to push. Then we place um, the torch there. Uh, we'll not take any chance, we'll do it like this instead. There you go. Then our redstone there. Then a torch there. And a redstone there. And a redstone into there. Set the max. Let's see. Yeah. That should do. Then we need normal pistons on that uh, block there. 13 high. 3, 4, 5, 6, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Uh, there. Let's see. Mm. 
then we will place. Oh, let me just pick up that one. I know it. Me. Then we place two blocks like this. Oh, not two blocks like that. Uh, there we go. Wasn't it? No, two like this. And then one up. There we go. And then one block each up like this. Alternating up. Place a glow on there, 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 there. On the side like that. Inside here you will place one repeater all the way up there, set to one. Redstone on the glow glowstone. Like that and there. And even a redstone on that one. Then you go up, alternating between the glowstone and the redstone, like this. All the way up to the top. There. And then you place one block there. Now you do need to hook this buzz switch up to this here so it goes automatically. For that we will need a piston into that block. And a redstone there, a torch there. And a redstone in there. There you go. And then we'll test out the buzz switch. We'll need to make one here as well. On this par part here. Um, oops. There we do. Go. Let's see, we need to clear out all this. Don't need to do this if you don't have any. need to do that if you don't have any dirt here, but unfortunately I choose a flatland with only grass on it. Uh, there, uh, we'll do it the same like, so it's more visible. There, then we place a block up there. Let's see. We'll do, 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 oh, that was the wrong place. Um, on top of it. Uh, two reds on there. This will be a little different design on the bird switch than on the other side. Then one there and then two into there. Both repeaters set to max. This is to give this uh, piece in here time to reset and that more time to reset while that is active because that can actually take a little bit longer than a single row to uh, complete. Let's see. Yeah, that should be it there. Don't forget to turn this over either. There we go. Then we need to start laying down the redstone for this huge piston wall. Oops. Like that. Alternating one block up all the time. So it's like on the bottom part you place two blocks and then you skip one and then up two, out to two blocks, all the way up to the top. Then we need to start with the pistons, out like that. Everyone needs to be set to one. Same on this, all the way down. This is quite an expensive uh, tree farm to make, although it's very server friendly. Doesn't uh, cause any lag or anything like that, and works quite rapidly as well. Uh, the previous versions I have had had a little bit too much redstone active 
the design here doesn't have hardly any redstone that's active at any time. Only exception is the bud switches on it. Let's see, I didn't flip any of these. Nope, I didn't. That's good. And then we need to go one out on each of these and place a repeater up all the way there. Then we place a glowstone. Uh, not on the bottom one. Uh, up like that. And then out like that. Need the connection point to the other one as well. Let's see. Uh, rest on there, there, there. Just the same as on the other we did. All the way up. Then we place a repeater in there. Two redstone there. Redstone into that one and redstone there. There you go. That works. Then we need to start with uh, thing over to here. Let's see. Oh, there, one, two, three, four. One in between there, and then two, and then one. Oopsie. There, I think. That should mark out the center for. Yep. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from the let me take that half slide over there and place there. From that grass there. That's gonna be the um, place where we put down the saplings. Then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Just the same height as all the other ones. There. Then we need some uh, obsidian. Then we go one, two, and three. Up one, and then two, and out, and up like that. Same on the other side. Leave one room in the middle here. I'll show you soon why. There. Uh, we're done with the obsidian, we don't need that anymore. We need the uh, iron bars in those holes there. Uh, I don't recommend you using fences because you can't actually walk underneath here if you do. Especially with the redstone that needs to go here as well. Then we need to put out the um, pistons. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Three normal pistons. We just line up with uh, the obsidian wall, like that. Just take that up to the same height where the obsidian ends. Should make there. Same on the other side here. Oopsie. sure that it lined up with that. There we go. And on both sides, just uh, get a little closer there. Just spam sticky pistons. Same here. It looks like this. Same on this side. 
and this side. Then we take out another brick again, and place that in front of the sticky pistons. Obviously on both sides. There we go. Then we need to start on the redstone system. Uh, for this part as well, it's the exact same here. We take shafts and we're gonna transfer the redstone upwards in the middle here. A little bit different. So we'll need to leave a one gap in the middle here. There, 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 and there. Close on there, close the stone in the gap we left, and then redstone all in front of this. Then we need. Stone. Ah, that was the top. Okay. Like that, and then redstone downwards. Like that. Uh, build one block down and a redstone there. And then you build a block into the side backwards, like that. With a repeater in it, set into it. And one there. Let's test it out just to see. Every piston's extended. Same on the other side. Easiest way to place uh, repeater people are to do as I am, just hold down the button and target the back wall, not the thing you pl want to place it on. It's kind of hard to do here you need to do it li like that, but if you have a wall in front of the pistons, it's easier to click that because then you don't flip off the levers, I mean the settings on them. Nice and fast way to uh, fast place them. Then redstone, 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 redstone. Uh, there and there. Except exact, exact same t thing as earlier. Then we need uh, this part up here. Let's see. Probably can do it with. Um, no, I can't. Uh, I think about it. Need first. Like that. Then there. And then glowstone on those. Then one block up like that, with a redstone on it, and let's see, close down. I did leave the things in front of the pistons uh, for the last, it's gonna be a bit different than those. Let's see, there. Repeater into them, that one, 
I did discover that if you did the pistons here, like this, uh, the stone bricks here would actually stay in the out position and the pistons would bug out to prevent that. Just do normal redstone, like this instead. Should fix it, or fixes that problem, I mean. Let's see. Then we have everything there set up, that's good. Then we'll do, this is important, from this side where you have the front wall, do a repeater right in front of the grass or dirt block, place a resin torch behind it, and a redstone on the other side of it like that. Then we need to go uh, on a little dig. There. Let's see. Then we do resin over there and oops, repeaters set to two or set to max at both. Then we run the um, redstone over here as well and up to this one. Let's see. And the same on the other side here. Oh, delete the one block too many. And those, as you see, line up perfectly over on both the sides. Then we'll do up to there and into there. Let's see. Uh, let's do a half slab thingy, which should we pick? Uh, let's do... Uh, yeah, stone slabs. Just uh, neaten it up a little bit. really have to do it if you don't bother about showing the redstone. A uh, little redstone is going to be shown anyway, so... But I prefer to do it like this. Just to hide the, the things that are on the ground anyway. Uh, then we need some glass for the last part. Uh, let's see there. Need a row of glass all the way up. And the same here. The trigger is directly diagonally to the stone bricks there. Or nether brick, I mean. And this goes all the way up 13 blocks. And all the way into the piston row. There. Let's just uh, encase this in glass as well. Like that. You can do the same uh, here as well if you like. Like that. Now let's see. Um, that should be everything for the um, tree farm. Let's see. We need. Ah, yeah. This uh, tree farm only works with uh, oak saplings, since those can those can uh, grow close to walls and such stuff and grow rather high at it. I should check that it yeah, as you see it didn't stick. Uh, 
and you do get about um, a one to one ratio of uh, saplings back. What you use, I do recommend that you have a few sacks lying around if you want to do this though. There, I think you heard everything go off. Yep, that one went off. I pushed that one into the side. Let's see if we can get this and push the entire wall out. And that will be the end of the demonstration on it as well. can take a little bit of time to actually bone heal them sometimes and sometimes this goes really fast so actually a great source for apples as well you do get quite a few apples of, out of this and occasionally we will get the um, leaves like this you can either wait for them to decay or just punch them out doesn't really matter Quite a few saplings lying around now. And we got an apple even. You can, if you like, install a little water system to it. I haven't bothered to do it because I can. don't find it too hard to actually just run around gathering up the saplings. And as you can see, the logs got pushed out one block here as well, so that bird switch works as well. Um, if you're on a server or on a single player role where you don't, uh, where your saplings don't uh, consume the bone mill if you don't grow, this platform here, which is 12 by 12, will hold a little more than two stacks of bone mill worth of um, trees grown. So, quite a decent halt, and I think if you do the entire thing, and are a little bit lucky, you can guess as much as 20 stacks, but I'm gonna say between 16 and 20 stacks of uh, wooden logs is uh, a nice amount of wood for just filling up a tiny platform and it kind of speeds up the tree farming as well. Well, that's been it for uh, this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. I'll see you around some uh, other time. Bye!